Hi, Rob. Welcome to Sunshine Daydream Boulder. Okay. Thanks for coming. Come on in. All right. Let's go have some fun. Well, now I know why you call it uh, the Sunshine Dream Home, because look at all this light. It is, it really is. So I'm a lifelong deadhead, so now we're living on Sunshine Canyon Drive, just a mile up from Boulder. It's a 3,400 square foot home, six bedrooms on five acres. A lot of flat land, which is amazing to be so close to Boulder. And we're right across from hiking trails. Just a half mile down is the front side of Sanitas, and a half mile up takes you to the back side of Sanitas. And people are biking all day long up and down Sunshine Canyon. What drew you to Boulder? Well, Boulder's really known for as a very active town. We have the university and we're just two miles from Folsom Field. Boulder is a 10K fun run. It runs every Memorial Day. We're 1.2 miles from downtown Boulder, Pearl Street. How long have you been here? I've been at Sunshine Daydream for 11 years now. Rented it for two and a half years and then bought it from the owner. The thing that he said was, you know, Jason, you really understand the energy of this property and that really means something to me. So I was fortunate enough for him to sell it without putting it on the market and we were able just to stay. To have a house of this size, this caliber, on five acres so close to Boulder is really unheard of. Describe some of the cool features of the house. Well, starting in the primary bathroom, we have heated floors, amazing views, tub, shower, two vanities, lots of light coming in. Then in the primary bedroom, it's a king bed with a plush couch, nice tables, lighting, ceiling fans, and overlooks the living area. Down here, we put a new 64 inch gas fireplace, large couch. Well, it's just a great hangout space for a large group or family being able able to have the bar seating open to the kitchen for cooking. Now this space. is pretty cool. I haven't seen one of these before. So I was at Denver Botanical Gardens at a Chihuly exhibit and driving home, I looked for a Chihuly-like chandelier and found this. I love that. I mean, it's just so unique. It's just the red glass and spiraling out. It's a lot of fun. We put scaffolding up and ran power to it and it's definitely a feature everybody seems to love. This bedroom right here is often used for older people Parents. No steps, just easy no to get No steps, easy to get to, and still has a bathroom and shower up here, and a great view. Downstairs, we have four bedrooms and a bath with four sinks. Four so sinks. We, so you're like, hey, four of you, <laughs> each of you get it the sink. What kind of stuff have you added to the outside of this? Besides just updating the porches, they were all here. And the flagstone porch in the back and the grotto was here. What's really remarkable about this property is the amount of flat land it has. A lot of the properties around here might be five acres, but they're completely unusable because they're on the side of the hill. But this one has a badminton court, a soccer net, a pool, and there's an old cabin built from the 1800s. Underneath this porch is a shaded porch, and we have a ping pong table down there. It's a nice place to get out of the sun sometimes but every single dinner was eaten on that outdoor patio right there. From your experiences, what do you think people would love to do? We're seeing all sorts of groups come through. It's everything from corporate events and retreats to family gatherings. A lot of people come out here for weddings. That's what it's all about. Thank you for doing it right. And thank you for letting us into your home and, yes. and getting all the bare necessities back there. But I'm gonna go explore Boulder a little bit before I leave Denver. Thank you for having me. Thanks appreciate for coming. Really Definitely. Appreciate it. Thank you.